Oh, hello, this is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. If you already have a walk, steaming is extremely convenient. All you need is a steam basket. And with a steam basket, you can steam almost anything you would like. And here example, I'm steaming some siu mai and mix it very rapid and you can steam almost uh, instantly. Now, if you don't have a steamer, uh, but you have a lid, there's another way you can steam uh, by putting a steam rack in the wok. Uh, in this case, you can put a plate on top of wok. But in this case, you need to have a wok cover to do that. However, steaming is most efficient when you have a bamboo steamer. Uh, you can do the same thing uh, by putting a plate inside a bamboo steamer uh, so you can steam, in this case, a whole meal with different types of vegetables as well as uh, with rice. And you can also include meat in it as well. Now, the advantage of a bamboo steamer is that uh, the bamboo is an excellent uh, trap for heat. So in this case, you only need a cover for the bamboo steamer. You don't need anything else. Now here I'll show you how I assemble a steam meal. I start with rice and with some of my basic seasoning, and I add different type of vegetables. And uh, at the top, I add a bit of scallion. So right here, you have a very nice uh, vegetarian steam meal right in front of you. This is excellent if you have advanced prepping. Uh, you can take a look in your refrigerator of what vegetable that you might have left uh, during a week of advanced prepping. And this is an excellent approach to use up the remaining vegetables. Steaming takes a little bit longer. Uh, usually a steam dish like this would take about 20 minutes. Uh, for this steam meal, uh, I steam in my Cuisina 14-inch standard steel wok. Uh, rather than place food in a plate and then put the entire plate inside a bamboo steamer, uh, you can put just whatever you want to steam, uh, such as uh, some sweet corn, uh, directly in the bamboo steamer. Uh, the bamboo steamer that I have here is a 12-inch bamboo steamer, so it can accommodate quite a few number of sweet corns in there. It much makes it much easier uh, than boiling them in water. The steamer is excellent for trapping heat. As you can see here, that when I have the steamer cover on, you can hardly see any steam coming because it are all trapped inside the bamboo steamer. Uh, this 12-inch steamer fits perfectly in a 14-inch wall, and I use my Cuisina 14-inch stainless steel wall uh, for steaming. Uh, during steaming, you have to boil water in the wok, and uh, boiling water will remove the seasoning on the surface of the wok. However, stainless steel wok will not rust, so that is not a problem at all. Uh, however, for woks such as carbon steel wok, as well as cast iron wok and light cast iron wok, uh, this will be a problem. Uh, this is what a carbon steel wok looks like before you use it for steaming. Uh, you can see there is a thin layer of oil film on the surface of the wok. After boiling water uh, in a carbon steel wok during steaming, as you can see here, it has removed that thin layer of oil film, so it removed the seasoning. And the end result is that if the wok is not properly oiled again, uh, it will lead to rusting. And nevertheless, this is not a concern at all. Uh, if you have a carbon steel wok, you can always uh, re-season the wok use my spot seasoning method. The spot seasoning method works very well in restore the seasoning to the surface of the wok and provide it with a non-stick cooked surface. Here the example is that after I add the oil, I let the oil to smoke for about uh, 15 seconds. Uh, this is the time when the wok is being seasoned. This is a good demonstration of the working of the spot seasoning method. Here I demonstrate how I'm able to fry egg in it and create an egg scramblet uh, with no problem of the food sticking to the surface of the wok at all. And therefore, whether you have a uh, standard steel wok or a carbon steel wok, uh, you should have no problem to use either one of them uh, for steaming. And for the carbon steel wok, you can very readily uh, to restore the non-stick cooked surface by simply season it again using my spot seasoning method. And when it's done, you will have this thin layer of, uh, of oil film on the surface that will protect the wok. 
Now, if you are not going to use the wok right away for a cooking, a one simple solution is simply buy a place a small amount of oil uh, to coat the surface before you store it. Uh, here's a demonstration. I use a paper towel uh, with some oil that I have sprayed on it. Just a very small amount is necessary uh, to coat the surface of the wok and to restore it uh, to give a nicer oily surface. And this oily surface obviously is essential uh, to prevent the wok from rusting. Uh, this approach is uh, essential uh, whether you are using a carbon steel wok or a cast iron or light cast iron wok. All of this wok, if you remove the seasoning on the surface of the wok, it will lead them to rusting. So by placing a thin layer of oil, you will protect them from rusting and you can store them uh, for a long period of time without any concern of they are getting rusted. In the case of stainless steel wok, you don't have to worry about it because stainless steel is resistant to uh, rusting. Uh, there are many different types of uh, steamer on the market and the steamer I have is a 12 inch steamer. Uh, you also have steamer that is uh, 10 inches. Uh, the 12 inch steamer probably works better uh, particularly for a 14 inch wok. Uh, the larger size allows you to accommodate a plate readily. So you want to steam an entire meal like I did uh, show you earlier. Uh, you can steam it uh, in this steamer with plenty of room to spare. Steaming is a good alternative uh, in creating a quick meal, uh, usually by uh, creating a meal with different kinds of vegetables. It's a great uh, dish uh, to uh, use up leftover ingredients. Uh, I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine. Uh, if you would like to adopt my fast cooking system, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.